Origin is an online gaming, digital distribution and digital rights management DRM platform developed by Electronic Arts that allows users to purchase games for PC and mobile platforms. A MacOS client was released on February 8, 2013. Origin contains social features such as profile management, networking with friends with chat and direct game joining, along with an in game overlay, streaming via Twitch TV, and sharing of game library and community integration with networking sites like Facebook, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and Nintendo Network. In 2011, Electronic Arts stated that it wanted Origin to match Valve Corporation's Steam service, Origin's primary competitor, by adding cloud game saves, auto-patching, achievements, and cross-platform releases. By 2013, Origin had over 50 million registered users. Components. Origin Store The Origin Store allows users to browse and purchase games for full price from Electronic Arts catalogs. Instead of receiving a box, disc, or even CD key, purchased software is immediately attached to the user's Origin account and is to be downloaded with the corresponding Origin client. Origin guarantees download availability forever after purchase, and there is no limit to the number of times a game can be downloaded. Users may also add certain AIA games to their Origin account by using CD keys from retail copies, and digital copies obtained from other digital distribution services. However, the addition of retail keys to Origin is restricted to games from 2009 onwards and older keys will not work even if the game is available on Origin, unless user contacts customer support. <laughs> <laughs> Origin client The Origin client is self-updating software that allows users to download games, expansion packs, content booster packs and patches from Electronic Arts. It shows the status of components available. The Origin client is designed to be similar to its competitor, Steam. The Origin in-game overlay client can be disabled while playing games. The client also features chat features such as a friends list and a group chat options implemented in version 9.3. Client and download performance has been patched and improved over the past several updates. Topic: <laughs> Origin Mobile Electronic Arts also plans to launch the Origin platform for mobile devices such as iOS devices and achievements can be synced across both platforms. Scrabble Network will be incorporated into Origin Mobile. These services will be free of charge. Topic: <laughs> Origin Access AIA released a subscription service for accessing and playing their games on PC in 2016. Users can choose between paying a monthly or yearly subscription fee to access a large collection of AIA titles known as the Vault. Origin Access subscribers also get a 10% discount on all Origin purchases. Starting in March 2018, Origin Access starting offering titles from Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment and was looking to add other publishers' titles, including those from indie games. At E3 2018 AIR announced a premium tier for Origin Access called Origin Access Premier, that allows to play future AIR games early. The games will be full version in contrast to the first trials", giving to basic Origin Access members. 
Topic: History. AIR Downloader was launched in late 2005. It was replaced by AIR Link in November 2006, adding trailers, demos and special content to the content delivery service. In September 2007, it was once again replaced by the combination of AIR Store and AIR Download Manager. Users purchase from the AIR Store website and use the downloadable EADM client to download their games. Games bought via AIR Link were downloadable using the AIR Download Manager. The store and client was reopened under the origin name on June 3, 2011. The digital distribution software was first used to deliver the Battlefield 2, Special Forces expansion pack, and subsequently most AIR titles. The biggest product launch on the software is Spore Creature Creator. AIR acquired the trademark Origin when it purchased Origin Systems in 1992. Origin Systems was a major game studio in the 1980s and 1990s, best known for its Ultima, Wing Commander, and Crusader game franchises. Criticism and controversy Removal of Crisis 2 from Steam and Origin exclusives Shortly after the launch of Origin, Crisis 2 was pulled from Steam and appeared on EA's website with an ''Only on Origin'' claim, though it remained available on other distribution services. AIR has since stated that Valve removed Crisis 2 due to imposed ''business terms'' and that, "...this was not an AIR decision or the result of any action by AIR." Since then, Crisis 2, Maximum Edition a re-release of Crisis 2 with all the DLCs has been released on Steam, matching EA's story about pulling Crisis 2 due to DLC restraints. AIR has confirmed that Battlefield 3 would not be available through Steam. The game is currently available for purchase on other non-Origin services such as Gamefly, Green Man Gaming or Gamersgate, but the Origin client must be used regardless of where the game was purchased. Since the release of Battlefield 3 in 2011, every first-party game AIR published on PC is exclusive to the Origin service. Origin account bans There have been several instances of AIR enforcing such bans for what critics argue are comparatively minor infractions, such as making rude comments in AIR or BioWare's official forums or in chat. During March 2011, a user named, Arno, was banned for allegedly making the comment. Have you sold your souls to the AIA devil? Arno's account was banned for 72 hours, which prevented him from playing any of his Origin games. After reporting on the details of the incident, website Rock Paper Shotgun received a statement from AIA saying that Arno's account ban was a mistake, and that future violations on the forums would not interfere with Origin users' access to their games. Later during October and November 2011, one user was banned for posting about teabagging dead players. Another user received a 72-hour account suspension for posting a link to his own network troubleshooting guide in the AIR forums. AIR interpreted this as a commercial link, even though the same link had been posted elsewhere in the forums, and EA's own corporate support site and FAQ. One user was permanently banned for submitting a forum post containing the portmanteau e which is slang for electronic penis. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Security weaknesses. 
Aya has been criticized for not encrypting Origin's XMPP chat functionality, which is available in Origin and in Origin-powered games. Unencrypted data includes account numbers, session tokens, as well as the message contents itself. With this type of data, user accounts might get compromised. Innocent chats in a war game universe may be misconstrued for terrorism and other sinister activities from the perspective of anyone intercepting them such as the NSA. <laughs> Accusations of spying Origin's end-user license agreement gives they a permission to collect information about users' computers regardless of its relation to the Origin program itself, including application usage, including but not limited to successful installation and or removal, software, software usage and peripheral hardware. Initially, the EULA also contained a passage permitting AIA to more explicitly monitor activity as well as to edit or remove material at their discretion. A report by the news magazine Der Spiegel covered the allegations. In response to the controversy, AIA issued a statement claiming they do not have access to information such as pictures, documents or personal data, which have nothing to do with the execution of the Origin program on the system of the player, neither will they be collected by us." Ayer also added a sentence to the EULA stating that they would not "...use spyware or install spyware on users' machines." Though users must still consent to allowing AIA to collect information about their computers. Topic: <laughs> Situation in Germany. According to reports in German newspapers, the German version of Origins Euler violates several German laws, mainly laws protecting consumers and users' privacy. According to Thomas Horan, a judge and professor for information, telecommunication and media law at the University of Münster, the German version of the EULA is a direct translation of the original without any modifications and its clauses are null and void. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin enabled games. Origin-enabled games are games which have Origin as a mandatory requirement, regardless of where the game is purchased from. The games are listed as follows. 